Hi there. My name is Taro Iwamoto. I am a Feldenkrais practitioner. And in this video, I'm going to show you an easy, mindful exercise that helps you improve your head and neck rotation and reduce uh, pain in your neck. So first, we'll start with the uh, reference movement. And uh, so when you do this reference movement, move intentionally very slowly. Okay, so very slowly, turn your head to the right, but don't go so far to the end where you feel the stretch of the pain. Okay, so just slowly turn your head to the right. Okay, and then bring your head back. And so I'd like you to feel that uh, how's the head, and how smoothly does your head turn to the right? Do that maybe two or three times. And then Check the other side too, same thing. Slowly turn your head, not too far. Is there a difference between the two sides? Is it easier, is it smoother to turn the head one direction than the other direction? So you take a note of that. And we'll go through, I'll, I'll guide you through uh, the exercise now. And after you go through the exercise, and then I'll have you check this uh, motion and notice the difference. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands, your fingers, and uh, find your breastbone, your sternum. Okay, so it starts from the top here and ends at the bottom right here. So somewhere in between, so you take your fingers and place your fingers on the front of your sternum. Okay, so can you feel that breastbone, your sternum with your fingers? Don't press too hard, just gently Put your hands, fingers on the front of the sternum. Okay. And once you can find your sternum with your own hands and use your fingers and to turn to just ever so slightly turn your sternum to the right. Okay, not too far, but do it very slowly. Okay. And as you do that, you really shouldn't need a lot of force and to move the sternum. Okay. So simply, all you have to do is let your sternum move with your hands. So when your fingers, your hands are starting to turn your sternum, you simply let go and then let your sternum move and turn to the right and back. So notice I'm not moving very far. I'm moving just a little bit, right? And the key is to let go of unnecessary muscle activities so that the turning can happen really easily and effortlessly. Okay, so is it clear that the chest, uh, the sternum is a turning to the right and back. So as you're letting your sternum turn with your fingers, and also feel and visualize the, your rib cage that is attached to your sternum. That is also turning, obviously, to the right because they're connected attached to the sternum, right? So can you feel that rib cage is also turning? So the whole rib cage is turning to the right as you're guiding your sternum to turn to the right and back. So speed, so watch uh, my pace. You don't want to do fast. You want to do it slowly. The reason why is just to giving yourself enough time to actually to feel that movement. If you move too fast, it's really hard for you to feel that and sense the movement. So do it slowly here. And now, <coughs> feel that spine and that um, behind your chest, behind your sternum, your thoracic spine. Okay, so the rib cage and attached to the spine and back here, uh, back. And so as the sternum is a turning, as your rib cage is a turning, okay, now can you feel your spine, your thoracic spine is also turning. Well, they must, right? Uh, the spine has to move because the spine is connected to the rib cage. So the rib cage is connected to the spine, and the rib cage is connected to your sternum. So when you move your sternum and your rib cage, to move, 
and so is your spine. So is your spine have to move too, right? So now feel the spine turning. So when your thoracic spine is also turning with the gentle guide from your fingers, your hands turn in your sternum to the right. Everything is turning, right? So your neck, your cervical spine is an extension of your thoracic spine. So what are you doing with your neck right now? Okay. As the sternum and your rib cage and your thoracic spine is turning, are you holding your head? Are you holding your neck and cervical spine from turning? Or you can also now let your neck, your head turn as well. So almost imagine your head and your neck are part of your sternum. So the, the, the sternum, you're guiding the sternum to turn and your neck and the head and also it's being moved from the sternum. And if you feel that you are tense in your neck, then simply let go and let your neck, okay? You're not trying to turn your head, turn your neck. You're letting your neck and head turn as you turn in your chest. So let it turn. Let everything turn. Okay, it all starts now from the sternum, okay, with the gentle guidance of the fingers and the hands, turning your sternum to the right, and then the rest will participate like that, okay? And you can do a little bit faster as the connection of the image of the connection becomes a little clear. You can go a little faster. And lay back. Okay, so stand, uh, no, sorry, uh, sit comfortably. And we did only the one side, right? So that you, it, it's, uh, now you can feel, compare the two sides. Just like you did the very first time. And do it slowly and don't go too far, okay? You're not stretching your neck. But just you comparing the changes in the quality of the movements, how your head turns, right? So slowly turn your head to the right. And do you notice any changes in the smoothness, okay, in the coordination of the movements? Is it easy to turn your head to the right now? And now, once or twice you do that, okay? So feel the difference from the beginning, and then now turn your head slowly into the left side, and feel the difference between the right side and the left side. Okay. Do you feel a difference? Is it easier to turn your head to the right? Then left, there's a difference in the quality because there's a difference in how you organize and coordinate the movements. All right, so you can do, of course, you can practice on the other side, and then, then when you start to do the uh, everyday movements, and then you notice that your nervous system starts to incorporate that uh, the new movement and into everyday movements and then you start to feel a little more comfort in your neck, in your, uh, in your neck. So, all right, and that's it for this one, and I hope uh, you enjoy this lesson, and if you have any questions, then please uh, leave the questions in the, in the comment section down below, and if you like this video, if you like my video, then please uh, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not, uh, if you're still new to this channel. So thanks for watching, and see you in next video. Bye-bye.